Yo, what up? This a new video right here. You know what I'm saying? I just got some breaking news, y'all. I repeat, breaking news. Y'all are not going to believe this shit that I just heard on social media just a couple minutes ago. When I found out about this news, man, I was heated. I was like, please tell me this nigga does not just say this shit out of his fucking mouth. I mean, like, who the fuck this nigga think he is? Disrespecting a hip-hop legend. I'm like, who is this dude, man? I mean, come the fuck on. I mean, like, that's what I'm trying to say, man. You got to get the internet away from these niggas, man, because the internet will make niggas say some fuckboy shit. And it's a fucking fact. You know it. You seen what happened to a couple of niggas that was talking, running their mouths on social media? They got to get their ass handed to them. Pause. You know what I'm saying? But it's the truth, man. You gotta understand. You gotta check these niggas. You know what I mean? Like, niggas need to be held accountable for their fucking actions and what the hell they saying out their mouths, man. For real. Like, you never gonna know. They just saying that just to chase cloud, get views, attention. Or they're just mad because they don't have to respect that that certain type of um individual got. If you get what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So, I'm fucking pissed the hell off. That one of my favorite MCs is getting disrespected by a damn coward. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I am this is not a fucking lie. This is not fake news. This is 100 percent the truth. This is what really went down. If y'all think I'm lying, go um search this up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, YouTube, Google, whatever you know, website format you use is waving. You know what I'm saying? So, might as well make this video. Let y'all guys know my thoughts and this shit. Lonzo Ball. This is Nas. Oh my god, man. I mean, like... Come on. I mean, really? You going to this Nas? Are you serious? Are you fucking insane? Like, what the fuck is this nigga smoking on, dog? I'm like, this nigga, oh, this clown motherfucker is bugging, yo. <clears throat> well, anyways, yeah, um, y'all guys might know about this situation right now. Um, Lonzo Ball, you no, know, he was on social media. Um, I guess he was like doing like some sort of an interview, you know, because, um, Trying to, to promote the um reality show that, you know, the Balls family. I was about to get a dude soon. You know, y'all guys must know who Lonzo Ball is. You know, he's a very popular up-and-coming basketball player who just got drafted to the um Los Angeles Lakers in the 2017 NBA draft. I think he was, like, number two or some shit. And, um, you know, his father is LeVar Ball. Y'all guys must know about that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, he been on social media, you know, acting a damn fool for not too long ago. Because y'all guys know about him, because he be on the internet just running his fucking mouth, just, you know, thinking shit goes his way, but it really doesn't, you know what I'm saying? That, cl that crab-ass nigga, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, you know, Lonzo Ball is doing a fucking interview. If you've seen the interview, it's on YouTube. This nigga said this. Nas is irrelevant. Please explain why, Lonzo. What makes you think that Nas is irrelevant? Why you think Nas is irrelevant for? Like, to see, this is the problem with these motherfucking niggas on the internet, man. They just say a lot of dumb shit, but don't know how to fucking back it up. Like, why is Nas irrelevant to you, man? I mean, so you going to disrespect Nas? A guy who helped change the game of hip hop since for a decade now. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck are you gonna say Nas is irrelevant? Nick, you probably never even heard Illmatic. You probably never heard it was written. I am Nostradamus, Stillmatic, Lost Tapes, QB's Finest, Godson, Street's Disciple. You probably never even heard none of Nas' discography, but yet you're saying he's irrelevant. Like, what the fuck makes you think he's irrelevant, huh? But, but, yet, yeah, you diss Nas. You, you, you talk shit about Nas, 
but give respect to future amigos. Future amigos was fucking garbage. You got the nerve to say that future amigos are real hip hop and not nice. it? Are you crazy, nigga? What the fuck is you talking about? You better not ever mention Nas ever in your fucking mouth and no. You better not ever open your mouth about Nas ever in your fucking life, nigga. I'm like, see, I just wanna. <clears throat> this nigga is lost, okay? I mean, he's lost. I mean, he's a crab just like his fucking father, man. Both of them niggas. I mean, the Ball family are just as stupid as the Kardashians, man. I'm like, I don't know what made him think that he could just go on the internet and start talking shit about a fucking hip-hop legend. I mean, y'all guys must know that I'm a big Nas fan. You know, Nas, he's one of my top favorite MCs along with Tupac, Biggie, Rakim, Jay-Z, Cool G Rap, Big L, Big Pun, DMX, 50 Cent, you know what I mean, Corrupt, you know, AZ, OC, Organized Confusion, Razzcast, Big Pun, I mean, Chino XL, the list goes on, 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 you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Illmatic is one of my all-time favorite hip-hop albums. You know, that album changed the game of hip-hop. It helped put New York back on the map after the West Coast was just straight dominating shit, you know what I'm saying? But this nigga probably was born after fucking the whole East Coast, West Coast shit to say some dumb shit fuck boy shit like this. I'm like, Lonzo Ball, if you won't go sit your ass down, shut the fuck up and go play some ball because the NBA season will start next month. So you ain't, you ain't got no time to be running your fucking mouth, man. I mean, you coming from the same person. I mean, like, I don't understand why your fucking father raised you to be a nut just like him. Like, you seen what happened to your father, man? Shaq fucked his ass up on that diss track until ever since then. We never even hear nothing from your father on social media. That nigga was just fucking quiet. Like, he knew his 15, 20 minutes of fame was already up because of his fucking big ass mouth. Your father is just as stupid as Whack 100. Yeah, I said it. Remember, this is not the first time you had motherfuckers this year disrespecting legends. Remember, we had. You know, this punk ass nigga Whack 100 and Funk Master Flex out here talking shit about Tupac. You know, future dumbass talking shit about the legend Jay Z. Had them fucking Jen Kardashian Jenner, them two dumb bitches, Kylie and Kendall Jenner out here disrespecting both Tupac and Biggie. And now you out here disrespecting Nas. Who's, who's next? I mean, like. I don't understand why social media got to give a platform to these bitch ass niggas to start running their fucking mouths, man. I mean, like, nigga, you don't have to like Nas. I mean, but you don't have to fucking go out your fucking way and cross the line and start saying that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You already getting fucking backlash from motherfuckers anyway. Nigga, watch your mouth. You don't want Nas to get make another ether on your bitch ass, do you? Do you? Yes or no? Like you just as fucking, you sound just like your damn father. Your father, a grown ass man, act like he a fucking four year old man. Get the fuck out of this bullshit. Fuck you and fuck your father and fuck your brothers. Fuck the Ball family. Nas, you a legend. We gonna ride for you, dog. You know what I'm saying? We not gonna let these fuck boys get into your circle. You know what I mean? It's like niggas wanna disrespect legends, huh? Like, nigga, what the fuck did Nas do to you? Is you mad because you ain't getting the props and the respect and legacy that Nas got? Nigga, you still a, you a fucking amateur, dog. Suck a dick. Fuck you. You dissing Nas? Man, fuck you. I heard this bullshit. So, yeah, folks. That was it for the video. You know what I'm saying? Give me your thoughts and comment boxes always. Hope you enjoy it. Salute.